the Democrats and their sham hearing ended abruptly. This comes over from Marsha Blackburn's Senate page. She is the U.S. Senator for Tennessee. And as soon as she said, we're going to push subpoenas for Sotomayor and their staff, and as soon as she said, Epstein flight longs, we're going to get those unredacted records. Guess what happened? Up, oh, time's up. Don't need to have any more hearing here. In a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing today, Senator Marsha Blackburn slammed Chairman Dick Durbin and other Democrats for la- launching an assault on the Supreme Court legitimacy and reminded the committee of investigations they should prioritize, like Epstein. And when that came up, guess what happened? Chairman Durbin abruptly adjourned the meeting without calling up any subpoenas at all. So they're not going to be able to go after Thomas and others because they didn't want to hear from her. And so Blackburn, of course, walked us through exactly what she was intending to do. This is where she says, we're going to start subpoenaing some other things. And then the committee ends the proceeding. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think we all know what this is about. And uh, you all have been after Justice Thomas. We are fully aware of this. And I I think that um, the whole charade is truly disgusting. Now, if we go back to the Dobbs leak, and I'm one of those, I'd like to know who the leaker is, and I'd like to know why they did it. But since that leak, our Supreme Court justices, especially Thomas, Alito, Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, Barrett, they have been subjected to threats on their lives. Their families have been subjected to threats on their lives. And yet, this is what... They had people parading outside their homes for a very long time. Remember that Kavanaugh specifically had people and there were almost people showing up with weapons and stuff. You and Senator Whitehouse are choosing to focus on is a discrediting of the court. And we know what this is about. We should be talking about protections for the court. I I think that it appears that what you're doing is you're going after them because right now you don't agree with some of the decisions that are coming out of the court. So instead of letting them exercise and fulfill their jobs, what they're required to do, what are you doing? You're going after a way to delegitimize the court as an institution. Tennesseans know this, we see it, but Senator Graham mentioned Justice Sotomayor. Now, this summer, what we learned was that over the years, her staff has pressured public institutions to buy her books. And these books and her book deals have earned her $4 million. And I haven't heard you mention that. None of you have mentioned that. You don't want to talk about that. Nor have you mentioned the fact that she refused to recuse herself from not one, but two copyright infringement cases concerning her book publisher. You clearly don't want to talk about that one either. So I have filed an amendment issuing a subpoena to Justice Sotomayor's staff who helped to sell her books as well as to her book publisher so we can fully understand the backstory of these deals. And since we're in the business of issuing subpoenas now, here are a few more Perfect. that Let's I go. filed. Great. A subpoena to Jeffrey Epstein's estate oh. to provide the flight logs for his private plane. Yeah. Given the numerous allegations of human trafficking and a sexual abuse surrounding Mr. Epstein, I think it is very important that we identify everybody that yes. was on that plane Even and how many there. trips they took on that plane and the destinations to which they arrived. Are you sitting up there? Did you I've go on I've also filed a Did subpoena authorizing Secretary Becerra to come before this committee and explain to us how HHS and the Office of Refugee Resettlement has lost track of 80 5,000 children. Two football In addition, stadiums. Gone. I filed a subpoena Gone. to compel the Biden DOJ to provide all documentation about their disastrous decision to terminate the successful China initiative. That was a program that was critical to targeting and prosecuting Chinese spies in America. Next, we've got to get to the bottom of the far left's effort to take down President Trump. 
That's why I filed a subpoena for all documents relating to any political donations and participation by special counsel Robert Mueller's staff. Right on, let's go. And let's talk about the two tiers of justice that we're all seeing in the Biden administration. This administration loves to talk about misinformation, but they clearly have the goal of censoring conservative speech online. Openly. In the latest example of this, DOJ, on behalf of the FTC, filed a privacy and securities practices suit against Twitter. So I think we need to get to the bottom of President Biden's efforts to silence Absolutely. Elon Musk. That's why I filed a subpoena to compel DOJ and the Ooh. FTC to provide all documents related to the investigation it's of Elon time. Musk. So Mr. Chairman, I think there are real issues that we should be talking about, social media, and the way it's destroying our kids' lives. Wall Street Journal has an article in on this today. Our southern border is wide open. It is a vulnerability. The president's administration has lost track of 85,000 children. The world is on fire, but what you have chosen to do is to launch an assault on the legitimacy of the Supreme Court. If you want to take up our time and go there, Mr. Chairman, we can all go there. Let's go. I think this is a sad day for this committee and for the confidence that the American people would like to have in our institution and in this prestigious committee. Thank you, that Mr. Was a Chairman. Burner. I think amazing from Senator Marsha Blackburn. And so she let it rip, said, Hey, if you guys want to keep playing this stupid game, easy. How about I just start filing subpoenas and we figure out who this person was, all right? Who flew with Jeffrey Epstein and AM and this person? Oh, I don't know. Who flew with Jeffrey Epstein and SK? Who flew with Jeffrey Epstein and Paul? All these individuals. Wonder if there's any Democrats on here. They'll get a little nervous when you start scrolling through this. You start asking yourself, could uh, could could it be possible that Dick Durbin is right there? Oh, it looks like it fits. Dick Durbin. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, oh, could this be Chuck? Schumer? Oh, it is. Oh, they're busted, man. And so they definitely don't want those reactions to come out, those redactions to be lifted. They want to keep this all under dark and night. They'd rather just go and beat up the Republicans, the conservatives on the Supreme Court when they want to hide all of their nefariousness behind their redaction. So, oh, me think they protesteth too much there in the Senate. Of course, shout out to Marsha Blackburn over from the great state of Tennessee for bringing in the heat in Congress. We'll continue to follow. Thank you for covering and joining us as we cover my friends and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. <laughs>